Oh my beautifuls for the sign of Pisces, this is gonna be your reading, don't forget this is a general reading, so take what it resonates, leave what it doesn't, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for you can participate in the giveaway of this tarot card, it's called Kawaii Tarot, and uh, let's go ahead and get started with a message from the moon for my Pisces, let's see. Conclusions are with them rich, okay? So conclusions are coming. If you are waiting for a situation to conclude, if you are waiting for a situation to formalize, if you are waiting for a situation to solve, it is coming, my Pisces. That's the first message that you have in here in the reading. They are telling you that things are going to get solved and things are going to get better. And it is with then rich, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with um, with the message from the Oracle Romans Angels. And you have the trust. This is a situation calling you to have faith, okay? So let's go have some faith and things are going to happen in the way we want it. And you got the card of playfulness. To recapture the romance, allow the inner youth, youthful spirit to of fun and to shine. Okay, so they are asking you to be more playful. Okay, my Pisces, and that goes with the reading. You know, just have two things that goes that goes together. To have trust in the situation that is calling for her faith, and the things are gonna solve. And I just I hardly can wait to have to see the cards because these three cards came together. Like a day was like the same almost the same thing. So I hardly can wait to see what else is coming towards you, my Pisces. Yes, wonderful. And it's, it's yes, the first card was right on. This an energy of planning things, looking towards the future. See what we can do is an energy of change. Things are changing, looking up for you. Oh, great, the sun. The Ace of Cup, it is a new love. It is a new love coming towards you or maybe a new relationship, a relationship that gets formalized, a relationship that grows closer. Okay. Wonderful, my Pisces. Wonderful. Okay. And you start the reading with the two of ones. The two of ones is everything about planification. A person that is planning to come towards you. A person that is evaluating the situation, evaluating the relationship. I don't know if this is you, my Pisces, or the person of your interest that they are thinking, evaluating their relationship, and thinking, what can I do? It also... It talks about a new relationship, a new path, a relationship that it gets transformed and a relationship that goes to a new level with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about having your cup full, okay? It's about having your cup full, having everything that you need in the, in the um, emotional and love aspect of your life. This can be happening in the future and this can, or oh, this can be happening right now for some of you. It can be a person that you already know and you just don't know how they feel or you know how they feel or you just been having a relationship but this person is just planning what they're going to do with the relationship. And they see you as their queen of wands. They see you as a person that is smart. It gets, you know, it, it calls the attention everywhere that they go. A really special person. They see everything about you that is just wonderful. It is a change. It is a good change that is coming towards you because I have the tower card and the card that I follow, this card is the sun. So it is a change. It is a transformation that is going to happen in your life and it's going to happen for the best. You're going to be really happy for the things that are going to be changing in your life and things are going to be getting better. I see a lot of success and I see a lot of money coming towards you. I don't have like a, a whole lot of coins um, on the reading, but I, I had the feeling that is a successful that is a success that is coming is coming 
in the love way and it's also coming in the money money wise too you're gonna be really successful in the next couple months you're gonna be really successful and you're gonna feel like the money is coming towards you if you are just going through a hard financial situation don't worry it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be really good but it it talks about that person or you having choices having one one or more of a person behind you having one or more suitors behind you so even when this person is trying to plan and is just doing all these things that they want to do and they are evaluating the situation for see if the, if the relationship is worth is worth the the trouble uh you are like i don't care i had choices i i had choices i have i have i have other suitors and uh, and if you don't have it right now you will have them you will have suitors that come towards you and and tell you how they like you you've been really guarded with your feelings it talks about a person this person or you uh you are really guarded with your feelings the thing with the queen of swords is just she do you see how she is there she used to be really naive about things but she now she she's more experienced now and she have a sword that it protect her heart she just protecting her heart with her sword and she have an open hand because she still want to she still want to have the illusion of having this beautiful relationship like having this um disney kind of thing the princess movie but they know that it's some people they have bad, bad intentions so she just keep her sword on the front of her heart for nobody can hurt her uh, but at the same time she just keep an open hand thinking like okay my love is gonna come someone is gonna come towards me that is gonna offer me what i want it's gonna offer me what i've been dreaming the kind of relationship that i want and you have to be um you have to be um like like really careful because the person that is coming towards you this person can be different than your usual type and expectations so these two energies that I see from suitors that you have here in this reading, these two can be completely different than what you are used to. They can be um they can be completely different than usual type and expectations. It's people that is, you know, it's not what you used to. So keep an open mind. And let's um let's clarify the cards for see i'm really curious about this energy with this two of wands what is the energy that is coming towards that planning if they finish to plan that what what are they going to do because you have a new love if that person show up later on or not you you have a new love that's your energy yes 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 and this person is coming to offer you a pentacle this person they are planning and they are thinking about the financial the financial matters of the relationship they feel like they don't have enough money for you or they don't have enough money to keep the relationship going something that they have to be with money and the relationship they don't feel like they completely have you know the money that they need for for have the relationship it's like a for men, even when they are millionaires, they just still think that they don't have enough money to um, to keep up the relationship. And you have the cards of the lovers. Look at the lovers. Uh, this person can be your soulmate. This person that is coming towards you. It's an energy of soulmate. And recognizing you that you are the love of their life. You are the person that they want to live with. They want you yeah and you had the king and the queen of pentacles look at this so it's a relationship where you're gonna be treated like a queen king and queen yeah and your financial you got the like financial your financial life is it's gonna be put in an order you're gonna feel like you have enough money for the things that you need for your needs and a little bit more in life um it is an energy of things, you know, things going right. And you know what is going to be the best part of this person that is coming towards you in this new relationship? There is a person that is going to sacrifice himself 
for you can have the best of the best for you can have you know it's one of these type of persons that is going to be if you are happy when you know what they say they say they say if mama happy everybody's happy if mama isn't happy nobody's happy so it's going to be kind of this person that have this mentality that they're going to try to make you happy no matter what yes the energy of again like guarding their heart this this person is guarding their heart they are trying to guard their feelings they are trying to keep and it is a choice for everybody because getting married is a choice for for everybody um but uh, it is an energy that, that you can you can even get married with this person you can even get uh, engaged with this person Yes, and again, the energy of these, you guarding your heart, you and or that person guarding their heart. Like if you went through a lot and you just don't want to suffer for the things that you already suffered again. It's like I'm done and then I don't want to suffer anymore. I want I want to have a relationship where I'm being respected and when I'm being well treated, but I just don't want to go to, through suffering. I don't want to go through pain anymore. And with this person, you don't have to even worry about that. Because this person is the type of person that is going to put you put you in the first place. It's, it's not going to matter if he have, um, if his clothes is not looking that well. But if they, they care about your clothes, then you can have clothes that you want. Then you can have the things that you want. It is a person that is going to put you in first place. You, you never before have a relationship like this. This is a person that is going to treat you so, so good that for you it's going to make the difference. And whatever happened in your past that I hurt you so much, that is going to be on the past. You're going to just leave that behind. It's going to help you to forget the, those things. Okay, let's. Um, I'm just going to pick a card from the Island Time Wellness. And it's, look what I told you. And this person is going to give you stability and security and growth and endurance and flexibility. And this is what this person is going to come. This is what they're going to bring to your life. They're just going to bring stability, the stability that you probably didn't have before. Or if you are going right now to a place that is still, you are not feeling stable, you finally get to the place that you are feeling completely stable, Okay. Focus, and I gave you self-indulgent. Focus on self and self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. They are asking you to do your self-appreciation first before anything else, okay, my Pisces? Put yourself first before anybody. If you have a relationship before where you just didn't put yourself first before anybody, this is the time. This is the time to put yourself before everybody else. This is the time to put yourself before everybody else, my lovely. And let's go get and get the angel Akasha. Okay, it says you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to console others and help them awaken their spiritual gift and divine mission so you are an spiritual teacher my pisces you have the the divine mission to call and and um and help and help the people that they need that they need help okay this is the time my pisces when i pick three of the cards okay and i answer three of your questions this is the time that i answer three of your questions for you so focus your energy on the deck focus your energy on the questions that you have and i'm gonna put three cards and it's your choice if you want me to answer two or uh, two one or three questions okay so i'm gonna put the cards in here i'm gonna start with card number one question number one for some of you card number two or question number two for some of you card number three or question number three for some of you and take the time if you want to just stop the video you are welcome to stop the video think about your energy focusing your energy okay um okay uh, card number one it is a yes when well, i love the struggle but it's a yes it is a yes and it is a yes beautiful my pisces 
Okay, you guys take care. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.